Hello and welcome back to Tales of Lumen. Today we're talking about Overwatch and The Division. Overwatch because there's some big exciting news to discuss, and The Division because it released yesterday, and, well, drama. So starting with Overwatch, it has been announced that Overwatch will be releasing to the public on May the 24th. That's kind of soon. It's kind of soon, but it is obviously still a couple of months away. It's way at the end of the release window that they initially gave us. They said it will release in spring of 2016. That's at the end of spring. I think the American summer starts June, then it's for three months, so that's like way at the end. And obviously then that gives them a good three months after that to release Legion in the summer of 2016. But I like the date. I think it's good. You know, for me, personally it's great because maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to stream by then. We've got some plans in motion and we're hoping they come together, we see these things through to fruition before May the 24th, we'll see. But I'm excited about May the 24th. In addition to that, it was also mentioned that there's going to be an open beta of sorts on May the 3rd. Now I say of sorts because it's not actually an open, open beta. Only people who pre-purchase the game will get into that open beta, but if you do pre-purchase the game, you'll get two keys. You'll get the game for yourself, then you'll get an open beta key, which is an open beta only key. It won't carry over and give the person you give it to the full game on release, but you get that open beta key to give to a friend, so you can get a friend to come along and play with you during the open beta period. I don't know if they said how long open beta will be for, I don't think I read that anywhere, but I assume something like two weeks. You know, they'll they'll need a week or two between open beta and launch to just get their ducks in a row for launch. I'm not 100% sure how they're going to be doing the account profile stuff either. Like with Heroes of the Storm, and I don't think it'll be the same as Heroes of the Storm. Okay, I don't. But with Heroes of the Storm, it was a very soft, gradual launch. Like when the game released, people were like, What? What? Has, hasn't this been out for weeks already? I don't think it's going to be the same with Overwatch. I don't think that they're going to carry progress over from the open beta to launch. That would at least not make sense to me. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping it's not going to be like that. And I think another big reason that it shouldn't be like that is because, you know, a lot of people will just go and pick it up at the store on day one when it releases on May the 24th and they, they will jump into this game and then they'll have all these people that would have already have been playing for so much before and they'd have all these cool skins and stuff and they'll be confused or whatever. So, rather start everyone on level one when the game releases, start everyone with fresh profiles then, I think that'll work better, but they haven't said anything about it yet, so we don't really know. Unless I missed a blue post or something discussing that, but yeah, uh, we haven't been told yet. I like the idea of the open beta though, it's nice to let more people in. Now, we did talk a little about pre-ordering games and whether or not it's a good thing. In most cases, it's not, but this is a Blizzard game. This is a game that many, many, many people have already played and have already said is amazing. I personally would give my full back into this game. I would endorse it 100% and say go out, pre-order it. It's amazing. If you like FPS games, if you like these team-based shooters and stuff like that. Sure, if you're not a big fan of FPS games, if you don't like uh, aiming with a mouse or the controller and shooting at other players, it's probably not going to be for you. Maybe it's, maybe it's okay. Maybe it's like a gateway drug for you and it'll get you interested in shooters. I don't know. I don't know. It could be a whole new world for you. Surely, it's, it's possible, definitely is, but I will tell you right now that I'm a big fan of Overwatch and I have pre-ordered the game for myself already. I'm getting, at great expense to myself, the physical collector's edition. It's like, it's really breaking the bank for me, but I, I had to get it just because, again, it's a Blizzard game. I'm super excited about Overwatch and I know it's going to be worth it. And I know that what I get in the physical collector's edition is going to be quality stuff. So, yeah, it's it's a different story to something like No Man's Sky, which we spoke about before. But there you go. That's that's what's been announced. That's the news right now. And I'm happy. I'm happy that this is happening so soon and that we're all going to get to play Overwatch together. If I can stream and play Overwatch, oh my god. Whew. We're going to play. Me and you. Me and you. Play Overwatch. Together, against each other, I don't care. I'm D.Va though. I mean, you can be D.Va too because that's how the game works, but I'm the real D.Va. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so The Division. 
It released yesterday and a lot went wrong. I will tell you now that there are obviously two different groups of people, as they usually are. So there's the one hardcore, whiny, vocal minority group that always hits up the old Reddit and the forums and the Twitters, okay? And they get really angry about everything that's not going their way. Like, literally an hour or two after the game launched, this big online game that everyone's trying to get into at the same time. You know, the servers are being hammered. The devs are furiously working away at trying to fix a few last-minute issues that popped up. But still, they whine. They take to the internet and make sure everyone hears them. And they obviously give everything sort of a gloomy feel. And yes, you know, it's, it's like, oh, did this launch fail? Was it good? I don't know. I'm just hearing all these bad things. From what I've heard, it actually went reasonably well. Okay, so fine. The game wasn't really that playable an hour after launch. A couple of hours after launch, there were some server issues. Like people were struggling to get in, whatever. You know, but that's still, you must keep this in mind... In the middle of the night, 3 a.m. or whatever, these guys were still working on survey issues and stuff. But I think that this morning, the next morning after the game released, everything was fine. It seems like most of the big issues, most of the big issues have been solved. I, I did see a lot of really interesting stuff uh, of players making bad things happen in-game, griefing other players. But I personally think that stuff is great. Okay, I love it if it's a community-based problem. It's not a technical problem with the game, no. Instead, it's a line of dudes standing there shooting people that try past a certain point on the map in the dark zone. Or they like camp in a massive group outside a safe house in the dark zone. And whenever someone tries to leave or enter, they gun them down. And I'm talking like a massive group of people. I saw screenshots of it. I saw... Uh, people complaining about it, you know, they say, they ruining my experience, it's terrible, I try going to the dark zone and I just die immediately. <laughs> Man, it was so, so funny scene. In fact, this is an opportunity to be the hero, you know? Rally together. Get your brothers and sisters involved and take those menaces down. Again, that's the kind of thing I personally enjoy. So that, I don't see that. As a problem. I, I really do not. But that's the kind of stuff that's been happening. I saw some cool and I would say pretty inspiring screenshots of people at semi-broken vendors where only one person could access this at a time and then they were making a an actual queue from the vendor like all the way down the street. So people were lining up to try and get in at that vendor and that was really good to see okay. It's like heartwarming stuff. The community banding together to give everyone a fair chance at actually access in this vendor and, and continuing in their game and so on and so forth. Added that, I realized that there was some big, huge, actually, issue with the latest NVIDIA drivers. That kind of messed things up a little bit as well. Like, you install the latest drivers that they give you via GeForce Experience, and they automatically give you these drivers, okay? I personally leave my, my GeForce Experience auto updates off. But if they're on, then it'll download these drivers for you like while you sleep in. It'll install them while you sleep in. And then you'll get like a blue screen and you won't be able to start your PC up. Well, you can maybe if you know a little bit about what you're doing. You can go in safe mode. You can uninstall the drivers there or whatever. But you know, you're thinking to yourself, maybe not everyone knows about that stuff. So it's actually a bit of a problem. There were these big issues. They've since recalled the drivers, but thousands upon thousands of people were affected. So that kind of put a damper on the mood. Of Division's launch as well, because those were the day one Division drivers that NVIDIA released. So that was an issue too. And again, like I said, there were server issues. People couldn't get in, this, that, the other. But from what I've heard, like, overall, it seems like the launch went well. I personally am not playing. Okay, I actually did send a mail to the devs and stuff. And like, well, not the devs, but the publisher handling it. Which is Ubisoft, so one doesn't really have much hope of getting a reply. I sent a mail to them and I, I requested early access like a while ago already. I didn't get it. And I thought to myself, I've actually got so much other stuff going on right now that I don't really want to get sucked into the division as much as I enjoyed the beta. And I really did. You guys watched those videos, right? My adventure worthy of it. I had a good time. I can imagine the full game would be better. But uh, I didn't think it, was, it would be worth it for me spending the money on the game now and not getting 
you know, enough time to actually play it because as it stands, I think maybe later this week we'll hear something about the Hearthstone expansion releasing later this month and then there'll be that taking up all my time and I want to try and focus on, on actually getting some quality content up on my channel before then for other games and ah, it's just busy. It's actually just busy. Now tomorrow I wanted to talk a little bit about Elder Scrolls. There's also something that released for Elder Scrolls Online. I think I'll talk about that tomorrow. We'll see. And I've got a few other things that I want to discuss. But for today it was just Overwatch and The Division. I'd like to hear from you guys what you think. Add it to what I said about Overwatch. And this is going to be in my news episode. I guess I could also just say there was a new patch where they added a map. And a bunch of legendary skins. They nerfed a couple of heroes, buffed a couple of others. Interesting stuff. Watch the news episode when I put it out. I'll talk about most of it there. Most of it, at least. We'll see. And I'm going to be playing more Overwatch soon as well. So that's also exciting. I've been trying not to tank Overwatch too hard. Because I don't want to get burnt out. Not that I'll burn out, okay? I, I won't. It's just I don't want to level up to 100 and open all these cool stuff in my lockboxes and then... Have it all wiped. That would suck. That would really suck. I, I don't know. I've got various reasons for not wanting to play too much Overwatch right now. But when it releases... Ooh. When it releases... I'm going to be playing me some Overwatch. Hope you guys are too. So. You can read more about what I've spoken about in this video below. What I'll do is I'll link you up to the Overwatch stuff, which is easy to do. And then I'll link you up to the Division subreddit. That's where you'll find all the drama. Check it out. You can check back here soon for more. Give this one a like, share it, and do all that other good stuff. Thanks for watching once more. Again, happy Overwatch releasing on May the 24th. Happy that.